The finance minister told CNBC this week that Saudi Arabia could invest in Iran very quickly, in fact. Can you expand on that? Absolutely. I think Saudi Arabia is committed uh, to uh, regional stability and committed to the security and the economic uh, promise of the region, but as well as its stability. And these ongoing discussions that have led to the announcement a few days ago are just a, an example of uh, Saudi Arabia's commitment. And obviously, with that stability comes a lot of economic promise and economic opportunity and a chance for prosperity and peace to be sustainable and long term. We want to build and we want to focus on making Saudi Arabia and the region uh, uh, achieve its potential. And of course, Iran and Saudi Arabia have had their differences. Iran is also a country that's been really crippled by Western sanctions, government corruption, economic mismanagement. I mean, where specifically is the opportunity for Saudi Arabia there? We believe with, uh, with this agreement it lays a foundation for more discussion and more dialogue and hopefully uh, uh, ch where challenges can be addressed on both sides and opportunities can be uh, 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 tackled, I'd say, uh, uh, with, a, with a view to have a very long-term uh, impact, not only on the relationship, but also uh, on the region. And as much as possible, Saudi Arabia also would love to share uh, its uh, uh, success stories and its uh, 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 support uh, in these venues. Do you see opportunity for collaboration in the energy sector, for example? Could Saudi Arabia help, to help Iran to commercialize its oil reserves? I think this is too soon to tell. Uh, I think what we should be focusing on is what was agreed recently and focusing on the commitment that Saudi Arabia has to make the region stable. We've, of course, been collaborating with all OPEC Plus members uh, uh, throughout this whole period.